scalar dot product as projection. Now we will try to correlate dot product with projection in this video, right? As we know, let's say we have two vectors a and b for example, then a dot b is actually equals to magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cos of theta. So that is a dot b. Now let's see how geometrically we can interpret it. Let's say this is our vector b and we have a vector a here. And the angle between the two vectors is, let us say, theta, right? So we have a vector A here and vector B is here, right? Now let's show what is the projection of vector A on B. Projection is like this. So this is the projection of vector A on B. So how much is this length? That is a right triangle, correct? And this is the hypotenuse. This becomes adjacent side of the hypotenuse, correct? So let's say this is O and this part is N. Then this length will be how much? So we can say ON over magnitude of A is equals to cos of theta, right? And therefore, we can say ON is equals to magnitude of A, let's write magnitude. So magnitude of A times cos of theta. That is this length ON. So basically ON is projection of A on B, right? So we can write what is ON? So we write ON is projection, let me write A on B. This kind of symbol, right? It is also a symbol normally used for projection and we'll read this as A projection on B, right? So vector A projection on B will be ON, correct? Or you can say the component of vector A along OB is ON, correct? So that becomes ON. So we see that ON is actually equals to absolute A times cos theta, right? Now if we rearrange this formula, we get what? We get B times A cos theta, right? Now here, if you compare the two, that means what we're trying to say here is a cos theta, a cos theta, and on. Do you see this part? So that means magnitude of b, whatever this vector is, times projection of a on b. Do you see? So, so that is how you can relate the dot product. So dot product basically the component of A along B or projection of A along B times the magnitude of B, right? And from this property we can also get all other relations. That is, if my angle theta increases then what happens, right? So let's look into those conditions. Now if, let's say this is my vector B. Now let me draw it here, vector B. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to increase this angle theta and if the angle becomes vertical, right? In that case, let's say this is my angle vertical, then the projection, projection is like a shadow. If I have a sun here and then where will the shadow fall? It will show me the projection right there. Do you see that? In this case, what is my projection of A on B? Zero, right? So. This is my vector A and this is my vector B. Now in this particular case, the projection of A on B is zero, right? So this part is zero. So if, so that means A dot B equals to magnitude of B, whatever it is, right? Magnitude of B times zero if theta equals to 90 degrees, which you get from the formula also. Since the projection of A on B is zero, correct? And you'll also see, if I move, if I increase theta, as I increase theta from zero, so when it is at zero, let's say this is my initial position of A, let us say, right? At that time, the projection is same as the magnitude of A, right? As I increase my theta, 
the projection decreases, correct? And it becomes ultimately zero at this stage, correct? So the product, which we are calling dot product or scalar product, will decrease in magnitude. So as theta increases, so we see that as angle theta increases, right? from 0 to 90 degrees what happens to the dot product a dot a dot b decreases right from maximum to 0 do you see that a dot b decreases to 0 when theta is 90 from maximum to 0 do you see that so that is how it changes right when we do it in the other direction then cosine of theta becomes negative since cosine theta is negative in for angle more than 90 degrees right the other thing is that the direction of projection is reversed from b and therefore we have a negative value kind of right so we this is our reference point zero so it is like a reference number and the magnitude in this direction is taken as negative and therefore the projection as we increase this again then theta as theta increases from 90 onwards we get more negative values effectively it decreases right from 0 to negative so it keeps on decreasing from 0 to 180 degrees as we move further now as we move from 90 degrees to 180 degrees then what happens it becomes more negative negative because it points towards negative x direction becomes more and more negative so that is how it can be interpreted but effectively if you see the magnitude wise the component of a which is on b or the projection of a on b really gets multiplied by the magnitude of b when we are finding a dot product right so dot product can be seen in short as a dot b equals to magnitude of b times projection of a on b right so that is the relation between the two and from here if you want to find what is projection of a on b it is a dot b divided by magnitude of b correct so that is what we can summarize here and we can write that projection of a on b so we say projection of a on b is actually equals to a dot b divided by magnitude of b correct such an important formula we can get from this simple concept i hope you appreciate it and this projection which we are talking about is scalar projection minded right since the dot product is giving us scalar quantity but if you want to make it vector projection then we add the direction of b to it correct that makes it projection vector projection right so let me put to be on safe side this in absolute values to say this is my scalar projection right in case i want to make it vector projection now let me add that to i know it's kind of getting messy here if i want to consider a vector projection then what i will do is i'll give it a direction that is a unit vector in the direction of b so i'll have that as a dot b over magnitude of b times unit vector means vector b divided by its magnitude so that becomes vector projection of a on b do you understand of a on b so that is how we can relate projection with scalar or dot product i hope this visual effect gives you a good feeling and understanding of what projection of one vector on the other is. Thank you.